Hey guys, and we're back, episode 2 of my Far Cry Let's Play, and we left off at a part where we had to buy a gun from the money we got from Dennis. And the 1911 is what he wants us to buy, so rather than risking the game stuffing up because we didn't do the right thing, we'll buy the 1911. Follow me, my friend. Follow Dennis. Learned it today. Nowhere to stand at all times. Vance uses the towers to map the island and to locate his men. Scramblers don't access. Our people have no See my spawning going on here? But you have many sticks. You were the invited information from them. Not too bad. Yes. Scramblers are at the top. Each tower covers a limited area. Climb them all and you will prevail. Okay, go back there and do it. I'll be back then, I'll be back. Mm, go this way. Now I found my way. Good job, run on so good job. First mission, I'm already running the wrong way. Second mission, technically, but nah. Run up this hill. That must be running, the running. Ah, oh, shit, really? Oh, what the fuck? Already? Where is he? Ah! Get away from me. Hey, seventy bucks. So supposedly with these radio towers, the higher level you get up to, the harder they get. So like not level as such, but like certain ones are harder than others. That they can't, they have to sort of pre-make them harder because people can go around to the map at different areas if they want to. It's not really up to the game to pick which ones get done first and all that. Just get that in mind. See there, the red flashing light is saying that it's a bad tail. And here is what our aim is. See, Dennis has come in useful this series. I mean, he's already given us a knife, which we busted that open with. He taught us the ways of the jungle by the looks of things. And he has just made help us to unlock areas. Good on you, Dennis. And he, oh yeah, and he saved our life. Just put that out there as well. And we'll use the fun. But yeah. Nice ride, huh? Once you have mastered the jungle. What does that mean? What am I supposed to do? So I must return to Dennis when I have mastered the jungle. He didn't tell me what mastering the jungle is exactly. I mean, I could come back and be like, oh, I collected a couple of 
flowers or killed a bo like animal or boar or something like that. Is that is have I mastered the jungle now? Like, oh, I just hit an animal. That was a great introduction. Let's go up over this hill, bit of off track driving, you know. Oh shit. Not gonna end well. Tell ya. It was an interesting way down, but I'll take it. Buffalo soldier. Alrighty, so. Kill a couple of boars as well. Oh, there's one. What the fuck? Oh my god, this could be bad. Come over overnight just to show it who's boss, you know? Alright, there's one. Get the boars first. Let's use a survival instinct to find the next one. There's what I see it. You're mine, bitch. You're mine. Take it. Did it die? Hey, it didn't die. These are two boar skins, that's easy enough up in the wasted ammo and all that, but anyway. Here's some green leaves. For those of you that don't know, the leaves help to make um, things like injections that can heal you pretty much automatically, like on the spot and stuff like that. Um, the red one is for, I think it's hunting. And the blue one is for combat, or the other way around. I know it's one of the one of those. Shit. I hate this. I hate going into water in this game. So god. There is crocodiles in here and I don't like them. Really bad first like mission in the game and I get taken by a croc. <laughs> Yeah, so it's oh, it's not very skin. Ah, oh, red leaf, red leaf. It's a blue one over there. Red one over here. It's gotta be another one. It is. Uh, I see it. There's a loot chest around here. I said the maps, the little diamond squares are <coughs> um, little loot chests you can go and collect and thing. Oh, well. Let's get another one for the sake of it, you know. The, this game has taken aspects of Red Dead Redemption, Assassin's Creed, and the past Far Cry's to make this like what it is now. Um, yeah, I'm very, very impressed with it. Um, yeah, like, really enjoying it. Uh, in my single player, like, off the recording. I'm quite a fair way through now. I'm getting there. Um, and I, like, as I said, it is really enjoyable. Um, and yeah, so anyone looking to get this game but not quite sure, um, get it. Like, yeah, it'd be stupid not to. So. Oh, to guy over this way. Going for a road trip, Dennis. Dennis, I've got the plants and animals. Good. Then bend nature to your will. I will teach you. Now use the plant you found. Crack two sardines. Good. Already done that. Money, loot, and syringes. Yes. 
one last thing that I tell you all. It is a sign that you are special. That you have the soul of a warrior. You progressed along the path. Let me show you how to add to that. With each tattoo, a skill is mastered. You can choose to learn skills in three different areas. Now, I will teach you the takedown. It is done. As you become stronger, with each new skill you learn, awesome. the tattoo will grow. Choose another. I need to press well, Jason. No, that is weird, I mean. Hey, Felipe! We are driving to the outpost near Amanati. We have one of the Americans. Come, oh, have some fun! What the hell? Please help! Oh, shit! We have to get her back. Come, follow me. These pirates are not very good at, like, not fucking up. <laughs> Why would you call, like, and then keep talking before the person responds back? I mean, that just costs them their location and a bit of fun with Lisa. The outpost and strongholds bound throughout Brook Island. Martin's pirates hold us to control the surrounding area. So we're heading into that water. Down a bit, crocodile in there. Rescuing your friend will kill two pigs with one ship. We are at war with Bath. Taking outposts from the pirates is key to reclaiming. One for Rakia, the area becomes safe. This means faster travel for everyone. New opportunities to develop your skills. Where did that car come from? Who's in the truck? Rakia Boreas, the true Rakia, who live at the heart of the island. The Tatao will help them to trust you. Look, I appreciate That's where I just was. <laughs> Look at that scenery, everyone. You are scared to slip. Look at that. You survived. It is time to fight. We are all equal, Jason. The difference lies in those who do not act. That is the key piece of this. All right. Let's do this. Like you. All righty. You are not alone, my friend. So, up on the D pad is the camera. Checking spot people. Looting first, oh, some batteries. I guess we probably can't even use them. But, because, like, we're stuck on a deserted island, if you know what I mean. Well, let's just go out there, guns blazing. Dennis. I understand you being behind cover so you don't get shot, but man, come on. That is how you liberate a camp. That is the outpost liberated. I can break in and save Lisa, as the mobile said.
Alrighty, that is on episode two ended there. So anyway, what we have to do is we have to go over to there, to the mansion. Um which I'll do next episode. This one's already fifteen minutes long. So we'll get that next episode, this tower here, and then we'll meet up with Dr. Earnhardt and see which friend he's got there, um looking after. And yeah, so now give it a like, rate, and subscribe if you haven't yet. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And that's my mouse being smashed to make it work again. <laughs> anyway, I uh, hope you guys have a good day, night, whatever. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.